All right, guys, got two things going on today. First off, there was a live chat last night, the 29th of December, with David from Barnyard Bees, Joe May hosting with Little Bit Honey Bees, uh, Jason Bragg with New River Honey, Honey Bees, uh, Todd Prince, NC, NC Queen Bee, uh, Keith Baudet with Summertime Bees, myself with Woolly Bees Apiary, Langford Parton. I uh, hope I'm not missing anybody. Oh, Mike Privet, Master Beekeeper in Humboldt, Tennessee. Question and answers. It went on for about two and a half hours. I'll put a link in the description down below, but that's just precursor to a dead out. What we're doing is going to do a quick autopsy of the dead out. I'd marked this one three weeks ago as one that I knew that was going to fail. Everybody hates to lose a hive, but it happens. You can see a few robber bees in there. We've got a sugar box on top. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to take it. I'm going to recycle that sugar. I'll take and use that in the spring put it in with all the sugar from other dead outs because I know there will be more it's inevitable bees do three things very well they breed they make honey and they die some of us have gotten to where we can keep them alive fairly well. I'm just gonna, for time constraint, basically, I'll get the rest of it off the bottom of the hive. I don't wanna make a video that's nine years long. But it's a sugar pollen substitute that I put on top of all the hives. It does two things. It feeds them emergency during the, the winter. Some of them come up and eat it instead of eating their honey. And it also, as you can see, it clumps, which catches all the moisture that the hive creates from breathing. But anyway, pick up the camera for just a second. I don't know if you can see down between there, but the little small cluster of bees right there, which tells me that the hive had dwindled to the point it couldn't sustain itself and keep warm. You got robber bees coming out, which tells me that they've already robbed all the honey out of it. It's this small little cluster of bees. No brood. It's one thing that a lot of people don't know. Of course, you'll have to excuse the sugar. But if you turn it upside down, the frame upside down, put the top frame to the bottom and look into the top of the very top of the cells and if there's little white dots stuck to the cells and some of them are kind of hard to get off you can get a stick and get in there that is varroa poo which again I don't know if you can see other than the sugar that's in there but there's none in there now well, very few I see a few Hope I'm not making anybody dizzy. Yeah, there's a lot of, well, there's some brood. Still no queen. She's probably laying in the bottom of the hive. Yeah, she's laying in the bottom of the hive there. But looking at the top of the cells, there's 
there's no little white poo in there. So that tells me that the varroa load was minimal. And there's no honey in the hive. Which tells me they've already been robbed out. Some chewed up cappings in the bottom. And here is Her Majesty. Here she is, she's Buckfast Queen. Other than a handful of dead bees, there's a bunch of sugar on the bottom. If you like the videos, like and subscribe. Should be a little bell or a little subscribe button in the lower right hand corner of your video. And again, go watch Joe May's question and answering where there's co host and we're a panelist ask, answering questions. There was a grand total of 326 participants other than the co host. And we answer everybody's questions. I don't know how often we'll do this, but Joe has considered doing it oh, every other month, maybe. Like and subscribe, and thank you for watching.